Hey, if you don't give two shits about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but every year they manage to do something that just burns your ass a little bit, it's like they're fucking doing it on purpose, I swear to God. You're in the right place. For what it's worth, I'm Murray Valeriano. Hey, welcome to the only music and comedy game show that matters. Today, I have three contestants who will test their musical trivia knowledge and their quick wit, but only one. We'll rise above the rest to be crowned the king or queen of rock. Let's meet our players today. All returning contestants, all sacrificed uh, episodes due to my incompetence as a producer of a online game show. I think you, all three of you had to end up down the toilet on uh, a couple of my fuck ups. So I really appreciate you guys coming back and doing this. Uh, I don't see... I see two of these guys way too much, and uh, I don't see Melissa nearly enough. So we'll start with the 40-year-old boy, Mike Schmidt. Thanks for coming back. A returning champion? Am I correct on that? Uh, uh, well, I was a returning champion on one of the shows that you lost with your producing skills, and then I was just <laughs> in the one that went live. But yeah. All right. Well, a lot we'll, of language, uh, by the way, out of you so far. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of the cussing, a lot of the filth, a lot of the salty language. Was that too much, do you think? Was no, it's much? not too much. It's just coming out of you. I never, I never expected it. You're just... You're, Unless you're like battling a shark in the surf, I don't expect that kind of language to come tumbling out of your mouth. <laughs> well, I'm a good Christian boy, Mike. You know that. Thanks for That's joining us, buddy. I really appreciate it. Thanks, dude. I know you're busy. And then coming from Center Square, from her grandmother's bedroom, Melissa McQueen. <laughs> that is, dude. My allergies are 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 acting up just from that quilt from here, two thousand miles <laughs> away. My nose is running. My eyes are itchy. <laughs> Can you can you can you dust that off a little bit? Get rid of the get rid of the dander from the cat. What's happening? It kind of looks ladies? like a green screen though, doesn't it? And it's <laughs> no, not a, a grandma's bedroom. It was my childhood bedroom. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh man! All right, uh, man. I'm just. Is that just one bed pole? No, there's four. Oh, okay. Oh, it's right there. How small is that Sorry. bed? <laughs> it's pretty small. How small is like that room? <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry your parents raised you in a garage. Are you a shed. Veal? Is there a chance you reveal? <laughs> anyway, Melissa McQueen, thank you so much for coming back. Such a pleasure to see you. Yeah, it's great to be here. And I'm coming from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame state, Ohio. Oh, that's right. You say I, I say oh. Nobody gives a shit about Ohio, right? Is that how it goes? <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Oh, another cuss word. Mike, I apologize for your delicate ears. All right. And then, of course, Bill Dwyer. Listen, thanks for everybody for coming. <laughs> Bill Dwyer, thanks for coming back, buddy. That's fine by me. That's fine. Is that I'm a not sleater, needy. Like, I'm that... not needy like everybody else. I can have a, a minimal intro. That's fine. Is that I'm... a sleater Kenny shirt there, sir? I've got an $8,000 watch. I'm not needy. It's okay. <laughs> I don't All want right. to show and, off my eight thousand dollar watch, but sure. And, and it matches your forty dollar leather knockoff blue jacket. And listen to you, the guy was on shore leave from the French Navy. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> listen to you. Hey, listen. I want to thank you guys for coming back. Let's get this game started. In case you don't remember, there are a couple things you need to know. Uh, I'm starting you all with an advance of twenty five points. It's up to you to add on to those points through strategic wagers and correct answers, but be careful. Any wrong answer, you could lose those points. All right, you guys ready to rock? Yes, sir. Uh, yes. I believe I have been rocking this whole time. No doubt. You certainly no have. Yeah. <laughs> you certainly have. Let's go to the rock wall. All right, there are six categories in the rock wall. Each category has one question. Once you are assigned a category, you can wager up to five points of your advance. Once you place that wager, I'll read that question. If you get that question right, you get those points. If you get that question wrong, you lose those points. Let's see what the categories on the rock wall are today. Thunder and lightning, down in the Bowery, be true to your school, fly on the wall, presidents of the United States of America, and skater boy. All right, all categories are assigned randomly. Mike Schmidt. Let's shuffle the rock wall, sir. Down by the Bowery, sir. How much of your advance are you willing to wager? I look, this is an internet game show. We're all in boxes. I'm going with five points. <laughs> I don't understand that logic, but five points it is. We call that balls to the wall, sir. 
Let's, Let's see what we it. got. In 1973, Hilly Crystal opened the music venue CBGB on the Lower East Side of New York with one stipulation. Bands must play original music. What does CBGB stand for? You know what? I have no idea what CBGB stands for, but I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a hail mary guess. And is I'm that gonna... true? You don't have no idea? I don't. I have no clue. None. Whatsoever. Oh, all right. Oh, well, uh, let's I've, see what the I've, creative I've, mind I've, can do. Uh, CBGB stands for Crab Boys Girl Bombs. So oh. close. Right? Crab yeah. Boys, Girl Boys, wasn't it? Crab Boys, Girl Boys? <laughs> oh, dude, missed it by... <laughs> oh, wow. Bill Dwyer, do you want to make Mike Schmidt look foolish? I believe because I saw the Alan Rickman film, it stands for Country Bluegrass Blues? That is correct, sir. That is correct, oh. sir. You get no points for that, but you don't get but no points for that either, I just get to show Schmitty. off my big head and my big brain. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. All it's right. So start Schmitty's face in it. That's fun, too. Sure. I enjoy that. Get your boot off my neck, Dwyer. All right, Melissa McQueen. Let's shuffle the rock wall. Thunder and lightning, Melissa. Thunder and lightning now. In this moment, you are ahead of Mike Schmidt. Yeah. Since Mike has already paved the way, I'm going to do five points as well. Oh, balls to the What's wall. There to lose? I love it. I love it. Five points, apparently, is there to lose. All right. Thunder and lightning. Here we go. What do ACDC's band logo, the Grateful Dead Steal Your Face logo, and Elvis's Taking Care of Business logo all have in common? Now, are you familiar with ACDC? Yeah. Are you familiar with the Grateful Dead? Sure. Are you familiar with Elvis? Yes. Are you familiar what with all three logos? What does their logo all have in common? Actually, They're AC all forgotten. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know ACDC as the After Church Drinking Club. That's what I yes, That's oh. what it stands for. She's right. Uh -huh. Oh, well, you, know, you didn't know CBGB, but you knew After Church Drinking Club. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> they all have bears. You, oh, is that your final answer? Yeah, it's wrong. How many chances oh. did you give her here, Mer? Yeah. Well, like a slash. Right. They'll, they'll have you, have you seen their logos? All of their logos. I mean, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> no. Oh, we're having technical difficulties. You seem to have lost just Mike Schmidt. Uh, <laughs> Mike Schmidt, do you want to pick this up and make Melissa look foolish? I do. Well, the, the answer, Melissa, and I don't blame you for not knowing because yeah. the answer is only in the title of the category. There's a lightning bolt in all three of these logos. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, nice call, Mike. Nice call. No five points for Mike, but way to pick it up. Melissa, no five points for you. Uh, but again, plenty of game. Let's do it. Bill Dwyer. Okay. No. Mr. Blue Man no. Group. Let's shuffle the rock wall. All right, Bill, President of the United States of America. Now, at this point, you are in the lead. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a. Uh, I'm gonna make it a true daily double and a bet right, twenty five. Wrong, wrong game. Wrong game. Wrong game. That's a wrong game. That's I'm. A wrong uh, game. <laughs> uh, right. I'm in the lead, uh, but uh, that doesn't mean that I uh, play uh, defensively or play smart or anything. So five, please. A five. It is. I'm getting this uh, to just really hammer these guys. Just Melissa. Just. Just to shove her face and any correct answer again. Just Melissa McQueen. So fucking smug. Fucking <laughs> Melissa McQueen. Hey, you're making fun of my grandma's bedroom. Well, my grandma wants her jacket back. Okay. So, oh! so nice. Melissa McQueen well, already just won the show. This jacket only <laughs> Melissa McQueen already won. Presidents of the United States of America. Here we go. Before becoming president and signing the Telecommunications Act of 1996, which pretty much killed radio, Bill Clinton played the saxophone on what late night talk show? Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, I believe that host wore that same oh, jacket in man. 1996. Oh. Gosh, man. Come on. oh, how come there's no clues in my title, huh? Oh, I'll just take a, you know what? I'll just take a wild shot at it and say, uh, I'll just say it was on the Arsenio Hall show. I hope I got that right. 
Uh, what a wild shot it was, and that'll get you five points to keep you in the lead. I knew that ooh, one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, oh. I didn't like that, McQueen. Oh, oh, I knew that one. Yeah. I'm so mad. Oh, Mike Schmidt and Melissa McQueen in the dog pound. I love it. I love it. All right. Mike Schmidt. Yes, sir. Now my favorite person on this show. Oh, what Shuffle the? the rock wall. Skater boy, sir. Skater. Sure, of skater course. Skater boy. Skater mm. boy. You're a skater, aren't you? Of course, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, although sure. I, I actually ride the skateboard, I lay on it uh, on my stomach. Oh, fun! The smoother ride. Fun, fun, fun. And Letty pushes you around with yeah. your legs. Well, up. no, they tow. Actually, I have a friend who pulls me. I got to get. It's a long. It's, the chain oh. involved is my neck. It's a thing. <laughs> Skater boy, sir, how much of your advance are you willing to wager? Uh, five. What twenty five? Five is it five again? Five. One five to five, sir. Is. One to five. You can do one to five. I get back. I got to claw my way back into this goddamn game. All right. At this point, you are tied sure with do. Melissa in last place. In 1991, Jessica Bergston, one of the skater oh. girls featured in Tom Petty's Free what? Fallen video, was tragically murdered by her ex-boyfriend known as Gator. What was Gator's occupation? That wasn't nearly as dark as it's coming off when I wrote it last Does, night. It doesn't matter how dark it is, but it certainly has a lot to do with music. <laughs> it's a Tom and Petty video. Knowledge being tested by Gator's occupation before he murdered somebody's fucking friend. <laughs> yeah, in the Tom Petty video. Uh, there's got to be some cutesy thing with free falling here. So he was a skydiving instructor. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that is incorrect, sir. Is anybody? Sure. Do you think he was it? a skateboarder? <laughs> I, oh, that'd be fun. Oh, you know what? Probably. Guess. You're not wrong. Professional skateboarder. Hey, Ooh, I should have said that and it would have come full circle with the lightning. Bro oh, <laughs> it was right there. It was right there. I was going to say it. Okay. Right, Melissa. You can, you can, you can. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Getting a little back at Schmitty. Yes. Uh, Rosowski is still in prison and hopefully that motherfucker rots forever. All right. No points for Mike Schmidt. <laughs> Melissa McQueen. Let's shuffle the rock wall. Fly on the wall, ma'am. Fly on the wall. I almost called you, sir. How much of your answer are you willing to wager? I mean, let's just go with five. <laughs> All right, here we go. Five points. Before she was Jenny from the block, J-Lo was a backup dancer for the groundbreaking In Living Color Cut sketch show. What are the backup dancer called? <laughs> Melissa's putting it through the goalpost already. The Fly Girls. The Fly Girls is correct. Oh, doing her Fly Girl. Awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Skills. Hey, how would... Uh, <laughs> How would uh, Jennifer Aniston uh, do that if she was a fly girl? <laughs> That's so random. I know. Like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why Mike Schmidt is so mad at Melissa McQueen. She is charming. Yeah, <laughs> what I do. I don't also, know why Mike's mad at her. This whole everybody. shuffle the rock wall thing where there's only one category left, there's no shuffling. Oh, all right. I'm sorry. Uh, Walker, let's, uh, let's not the shuffle the last category. category. Uh, let's take the last category and shove it up Bill's ass. Be true to your school, sir. <laughs> Be true to your school. Um, I apologize. I have such a potty mouth today. I don't know where it came from. I don't know what's happening. I, I apologize. Please don't hold this. <laughs> I know where it came from. Melissa's grandmother. hey -o. Thank you. Five Bill Blyer. points. Always, five points. always five points. Be true oh, to your school. I might win this game for the first time ever. Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machine, Jerry Harrison of the Talking Heads, and Rivers Cuomo of Weezer all claim this Ivy League school as their alma mater. Oh, man. Well, it and narrows yes. it down, huh? Ivy yes. League school. Oh, Christ. Really? Mm. Oh, man. Uh, Melissa McQueen knows this, ready to wipe your <laughs> butt with that jacket. Uh, well, I got it. It's got to be Harvard. It's got to be. What does Melissa McQueen say? Yeah, it's Harvard. It is Harvard, correct, sir. <laughs> Bill, you are correct. You are correct. <laughs> oh man. Oh. <laughs> and I think, I think, just I'm just going to go ahead and say this: if Melissa McQueen wins this, you got to give her that jacket. Excellent rock wall, you guys. Let's shuffle up these points. Let's see who's winning this thing. Oh, the points are in. The points are in. What an exciting rock wall, guys. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you so much for playing. Woo. Let's see what this score's got. Mike Schmidt, a one-time champion, coming <laughs> in third place at 15 points right now, sir. But I know you. I know. No, don't do that yet. Do something. Oh, all right. Games. Well, good. All right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. 
I know you, I know you got some solid rock and roll knowledge behind you. I know you got the comedy chops and I know you got the taste for blood. I think you could pull this thing off. I have got faith in you. I need to know more about initials and murder apparently to hang in this game, but that's fine. <laughs> well, that's all right. Well, you get something to do over the weekend. <laughs> then Melissa McQueen showing up at a 25, exactly right where you started. Not a Vance, not a straight C student. It's a good jumping off point for the next two games. How are you feeling? Sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. You think you can yeah. pull this out? You Mediocre. You think you can, you can bury these two? All right. All yeah. right. Just to keep in mind. You could be the rock, uh, you could be the queen of rock and get Bill's jacket. Bill Dwyer, <laughs> as if you don't need more to talk about. You are in the lead, sir. 35 points, not a bad showing. You're carrying this so far, but I'm telling you, you got two worthy opponents uh, uh, coming up your tails there. I don't know if you're going to be able to hold on to it. That jacket has tails? I got, a, <laughs> I, no, I got another one that does have tails. I, all right, I was going to say. I, it's more of a waistcoat. It's more of a morning coat, you know. <laughs> more of a table waiting job. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is still anybody's game. Who wants to see how many points we can rack up in today's mashup? Today in the mashup, it's rock and roll rap sheet. A lot of musicians have been arrested for a lot of crazy things. I picked three fun headshots for you guys to take a look at and come up with some stuff that these artists might have been arrested for if they got caught. If I like what you have to offer, I'll give you five points. If I don't like what you have to offer, you get no points. Is it up to me? Absolutely. Let's do this. Mike Schmidt. Yes, sir. Let's take a look at our first rap sheet. Johnny Cash, the man in Hello. black. Now, Johnny Cash has been arrested twice. He was arrested for possession of drugs, and he was also arrested for picking flowers in the middle of the night, spent the night in jail, and was fined $37. I see. According to the internet, that could have been wrong. According to the now that I'm saying that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you so mentioned important. both of them because they have certainly have nothing to do with the things I've prepared. <laughs> Absolutely, sir. What do you think Johnny Cash might have been arrested for if he got if he got arrested, sir? Well, yeah, he's actually had a few close calls as well. In addition oh. to those arrests you've mentioned, uh, mm -hmm. during the Highwaymen tour, he was pulled over for suspicion of DWI, oh, which was uh, dosing Willie's indica. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! Somebody put pen to paper. I love this man. And then uh, you know the arrest that he actually got brought in for that. It was his own fault. He refused a breathalyzer test. He said, "Nope." I walk the line. <laughs> wow. Uh, yes. Man. Yes. But he actually did take a fall. Uh, he was arrested later on tour. Um, it was actually a case of mistaken identity. At a show, he was announced as the men in black, the man in black. Yep. And uh, cops actually heard man is black and immediately arrested him and dragged him off to jail. <laughs> uh, topical, too. I love it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else, sir? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay at three. Thanks. Three is a good one. The comedy rule of the excellent job, Schmitty. <laughs> sure. That was great. I loved it, man. I loved it. All right, yeah. Melissa McQueen, are you a Johnny Cash fan? Oh, yeah. And I yeah. know this mugshot. Like, my grandmother told me about this. <laughs> oh, I totally really? know what happened. All yeah. Right. Uh, Johnny Cash, he was actually arrested when he uh, failed to appear in court when a woman sued him for giving her herpes and turning oh. her vagina into a ring of fire. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Don't you say my grandma, Bill. Don't you say my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, I actually have a, a couple more. Oh, okay, um, sure. Yeah. I'm waiting for the uh, offensive one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Johnny Cash, he was actually... Uh, arrested for hate speech when he misgendered a boy named Sue. Oh, <laughs> can we do that one? Can we do that one? I don't know. Am I going to get canceled? Who knows? That was fantastic. That was good. That was good. Wait, okay. This one, right. <laughs> still, this one's the worst. <laughs> Maybe I should I stop love the commitment. I love the commitment. Okay. I don't know if you guys know this. This is a true story, but, um, Johnny Cash, okay, he was playing at this cyber security convention. Okay. And he was arrested for beating up the MC who introduced him as Johnny Bitcoin. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, that was really bad. <laughs> Sorry, cut that you one. Know that was the most offensive. You know what? <laughs> 
I like it. I like all three. Yes. Excellent job, Melissa. <laughs> Your grandmother you. would be proud. <laughs> Bell Dwyer, sir. I just had him uh, getting arrested for being too mopey. Uh, <laughs> man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do, you, do you? Christ almighty. Do you, I wish you want to go I'd write a couple while we do the next one and come back? Or <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any more, sir? Any more violations from yeah. Johnny Cash? I, uh, well, <laughs> I always thought he should, he should have been locked up for no sense of humor, but that's, uh, I don't know. You, you could tell. He just, oh, right. he, I don't know. Yeah. That's all I got. All right. All right. Excellent job. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this first round, we got a tie five points for Melissa, five points for Mike Schmidt. Excellent job. Let's go on to the next, uh, mug shot. Trey Anastasio from the band Pahish. Uh, not a fan. Uh, he was arrested for possession. Shocker. Mike Schmidt. What do you think Trey Anastasio could have been arrested for? Well, uh, he has a long history. Oh. Certainly it's as long as my arm, this rap sheet, he was actually initially arrested for identity theft, mm -hmm. uh, because he's been pretending to be in the grateful dead for the past 35 years. So. <laughs> That's good. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and related to that, he was also charged with a DWI. Oh, a damaging weir impersonation. So that's <laughs> Ooh, going deep on the dead uh, references. I love it. I love it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but that arrest was also his own fault. Uh, they tried to get him to sit for a breathalyzer and he said, nope. And he just bounced around the room. Oh, oh, oh the only fish song I like. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Excellent job. Excellent job, hey. Mike Schmidt. Mm. Melissa McQueen. What do you have for Trey Anastasio? I'm not uh, even sure if I'm saying this right. This, this is a really intense arrest uh, mugshot. Uh, Trey Anastasio was arrested for trashing a Long John Silvers because they advertised that their lunch special was Trey a fish. <laughs> Why am I laughing? That's, gore. that's clean. I like that no, one. That's, no, that's tight. That's tight. You can laugh at your own jokes here. You yeah. can. Bill laughs at the ones that aren't funny of his. So you can I'm laugh. also enjoying that me and Melissa have the same college professor delivering a, a lesson plan <laughs> <laughs> style of delivering these bits. Um, seriously, we, I wish I had glasses to take off and bite. I'm not joking. God damn it. <laughs> 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 any any more? <laughs> I don't know. Could you be arrested for being a fan of the band of fish? Or <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. All, right. All right. Well, we'll see. I guess we'll only see Trey Anastasio in H salt. All right, Bill Dwyer. <laughs> what do you have for Trey Anastasio? I believe he has been arrested for uh uh loitering on stage and uh and also for uh Endless guitar noodling. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> noodling is still illegal in some states? Well, loitering on stage, though. I just thought of that one. See, because they don't do much. Because they just... Right. Oh, yeah. And you you put a lot of effort in the noodling on stage. That's the one you spent your time <laughs> on. And that one you just... Well, I, I mean, I wish I'd call these guys for some <laughs> tips. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Angela Trey Anastasio, Mike Schmidt, five points, buddy. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. Trey a fish. Come on. I know. I know. It was good. It was good. Yeah. It was good. Stuck it, McQueen. It was, good. It was hard it. for me to decide. It was hard for me to decide That's between fine. you and okay. Mike on that one. I'm really still easy in the to not include Bill, but really hard for you. All right. Let's go over <laughs> that last mug. Hey, has anybody been arrested by any chance? Yes. 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 Me too. Bill. Yeah. I've Walker, run from the cops. Yeah. The nicest guy on the face of the planet has been arrested. Melissa, you've been arrested? No, but I ran from the cops. Y'all are suckers to get arrested. <laughs> 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 Excellent job. Let's go to old Blue Eyes himself. All right. Mike Schmidt. Frank Sinatra, by the way, was arrested for something like immorality. Mm. Is, the, is the charge, I believe it was, back in like 48 or something like that? So Mike Schmidt, what else? Could well, this is a strange coincidence with all three of our, our mugshot people. Today. He also received a DWI. Oh, wow. Well, no. well, he's a big drinker. Uh, he was dooby dooby doing with intent. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, and uh, he God. got carted off to no, jail. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just enjoy that. That was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> we do not need to walk on. be do be doing with intent. <laughs> <laughs> that, that there's no I, idea how happy i was at 3 30 a.m when that was what came into my brain last night <laughs> but like literally i think i actually may have said by jove i've got it i may have actually said that out loud <laughs> all right what else you got for <laughs> well again he did get arrested and it was his own fault because he refused a breathalyzer he said oh. nope i do it my way <sighs> oh beautiful 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 excellent job sir but he also wound up in further trouble because he was arrested. He's one of the few people who's ever been arrested for a crime he did not commit. Oh. Yeah. He was charged with child abuse for not killing Woody Allen after Mia Farrow told him what he had done. Oh, dark. I love it. <laughs> you know, he should have called. Dooby dooby doo. <laughs> with intent. I got a new ringtone. I got a new ringtone. <laughs> and so does Walker. <laughs> Excellent job, Mike Schmidt. Melissa McQueen. Okay, I actually, you know what happened is Frank Sinatra was arrested for going my way down a one-way street. That's what I heard happen. <laughs> All right. I like that a lot. I like that a lot, Melissa McQueen. <laughs> I also have another one. He uh -huh. had another uh, mugshot and a... Uh, <laughs> Frank, Frank Sinatra was arrested for having sex on a public bus, and he told police if he can make it there, he can make it anywhere. <laughs> just keep coming. Nice. They just keep coming. They just Watch keep coming, that one buddy. leave the park. <laughs> <laughs> Any more? Uh, I had one at 3.30, but it's <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'd have to cut it. But it's just All for right. the room. Okay, this one's okay. for the room. Uh, Frank, Frank Sinatra was arrested for hate speech when he went to a Leah Thomas swim meet and saying the lady is a trans. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> sorry, it was a bit <laughs> more, please, no, sorry. Stop apologizing. That's great. No, that's fine. No, let's go. That's going to be the promo clip. So enjoy being got canceled. A lot of levels. It's got a lot of levels. A lot of levels. Excellent job, Melissa. Uh, send all emails to uh, <laughs> M. McQueen Comedy at sbcglobal.net. <laughs> Bill Dwyer. <Blyer. laughs> I made that up, Schmidt. That's not a real email. Don't, don't stalk her. Don't stalk her. <laughs> Bill Dwyer. Frank's Why do I always have to go last after all the? Uh, well, first of all, Frank Sinatra should have been arrested for arson because in this picture he is smoking. Oh, oh I'll take that. Yes. Oh man, that is a yes. good-looking fella. I believe he. Uh, I believe Frank uh, got arrested throughout his life for <laughs> possession of a dangerous cock. From what I know about Frank Sinatra, he had a <laughs> gigantic wang. I don't know if anyone else knows that. I don't know. If I that's think there was an actual. Thing. There was actually a second bug shot <laughs> that they fitted in. <laughs> right, and apparently it's at like you know four foot eight uh, up against the wall. Uh, I guess I could uh, I could go into it and say, oh, I got arrested for assaulting strangers in the night. I could uh, do it like <laughs> all right, could, all right. We'll get that one. Could, uh, he, that that almost looks like he worked on it. Yeah, yeah. He uh, <laughs> he got a <laughs> he was in divorce court because uh, uh, he denied it, but L.A. was his lady. Uh, and then there's <laughs> also right. uh, uh, he uh, <laughs> he is arrested for uh, uh, unlawful possession because apparently uh, uh, Chicago was not his kind of town. I don't know. You see. Ah. All the <laughs> I'm enjoying your Ed Sullivan posture during all of these. Too. Like, yeah. oh, you just have, you just have Frank defensive. Sinatra's greatest hits up and you're just <laughs> them off as you go down the line. You know how smug I was earlier when I just did answer questions. Now I'm very, <laughs> now I'm very defensive. Excellent mug shots, guys. Excellent mug shots. Man, I'm going Mike Schmidt with five points, sir. Melissa McQueen. Ah, so close. You guys are neck and neck. Oh, oh you muted her. She's cussing. Hi. First tray of fish gets denied, and then <laughs> make it there. You can make it anywhere. Come on. Okay. Do be do do be do with <laughs> intent. Come on. You got it. Fine. You got it. All right, guys. That was first time we played this game. 
knocked it out of the park. All, all three. So much fun. Thank you so much for doing it. Now let's tally up these scores. Let's see who's winning this thing. Oh, the points are in. The points are in. Melissa, get off your phone. The points are in. <laughs> yeah. What a great <laughs> I mean, sorry, that wasn't a rock wall. What a great mashup. Thank you so much, you guys. Like I said, that was the first time we've done that game. You guys knocked it out of the park. I'm excited to do that game again. It's just really hard to find rap sheets where there hasn't been horrible, horrible crimes attached to musicians. <laughs> <laughs> and also, thanks for keeping it somewhat respectable, <clears throat> Melissa. All right, here we go. We have tied for second place because there is no third place when we have a tie on for what it's worth. Why? Because I make up the rules. We have Mike Schmidt with 30 points and Melissa McQueen with 30 points. Excellent job on the mashup. Both of you, fantastic. You're neck and neck for second place. You're still only five points behind the first. I still think it's anybody's game. I've taken the money off Schmidt and I'm putting it on Melissa. Let's see how many points we can pick up in today's jam. Today in the jam, it's Scramble On. I took a bunch of bands' names, I scrambled up all the letters, I threw them up on a slide, and I want you guys to figure it out. When you figure out what the band's name is, I want you to buzz in. For every right answer you get, you get five points. For every wrong answer you get, you get no points. Let's go to our first scramble. Oh, it's another thing. Oh, Bill Dwyer buzzed in. Wilco. It is Wilco. Five points for Bill Dwyer. Excellent job, sir. Excellent job. Let's go to our next band. Oh, we got Mike Schmidt. We got Bill Dwyer. Nothing for Melissa McQueen. Mike Schmidt, what do you have, sir? The Psychedelic Furs. It is the Psychedelic Furs for five points. Excellent. Dude, you're good at this game, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're good. Let's hope. Let's go to our next band. Oh, this is now oh Mike Schmidt is on fire today. Oh, Melissa my. McQueen finally jumps in. Bill Dwyer coming in third. Mike Schmidt, what do you have, sir? 10,000 Maniacs. It is 10,000 Maniacs, sir. Five points. Excellent job. Excellent job. Let's go to our next band. Oh, what do we got? Oh, we got Mike Schmidt just beating Bill Dwyer by a, by a nano buzz. Is that even a thing? A nano buzz? What do you got, Mr. Schmidt? Dire Straits. Dire Straits. Mike Schmidt is on fire. He could carry this whole thing. I've taken my money off Melissa McQueen, and I'm putting it back on Mike Schmidt, where I should have kept it. <laughs> Doesn't seem fair. Doesn't seem fair this late in the, the game. The whole thing right. is rigged, frankly. <laughs> I never learned how to read. <laughs> what, a, what a horrible time to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to our next band. Oh, yeah. oh my God, Mike Schmidt. I get it. Mike, are you just... Mike Schmidt, then a very close Bill Dwyer and a very close Melissa McQueen. Mike Schmidt, if you get this wrong, I got to pass it on to Bill Dwyer, sir. What do you have? ABC. ABC is correct, sir. Five points. He is running away with this. My crush on him is growing. Let's go. <laughs> Another awkward time to find something out. To our next man. Ooh. Oh, Bill Dwyer beats Mike Schmidt. Oh, Bill Dwyer, what do you have, sir? That's Adele. That is Adele. Five points for Bill Dwyer. Mike Schmidt running this game's dreams are now over. You're no longer pitching a one hitter right no no hitter a one hitter is a pot thing a one no hitter let's go to our next band oh i'll tell you what this one gave me a hard time when i came up with it myself or the, oh mike schmidt madonna he got madonna oh my god nice that was great it's harder than it looks right yeah yeah it's nice. harder than it looks. It's harder than it looks. Good job, Mike Schmidt. Let's go. I didn't think next. I was going to be able to doobie doobie do it, but I did it. <laughs> I hate you so much, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's go to our next man. What do we got? Oh, Mike Schmidt again. Mike Schmidt is on fire. Bill Dwyer coming in a close second. Melissa McQueen still doesn't like Mike Schmidt and refuses to buzz in once he buzzes in, apparently. Yeah. Mike Schmidt, what do you got, sir? Greta Van Fleet. We also would have accepted Led Zeppelin, but Greta Van Fleet is correct, sir. It's correct. Another five points for Mike Schmidt. Uh, I don't even want to add up all these points at the end of this thing. It's going to take us forever, but let's go on to our next band. Oh, oh, we got Bill Dwyer. Bill Dwyer says second, Mike Schmidt. I'm about to take you down at the knees. Bill Dwyer, what do you have, sir? That's uh, uh, that's um, a legal. What? That's uh, Slegal. Oh, you're pulling up Gil Martin on us. 
I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Mike Schmidt. Eagles. Take it home. That's right. Oh. Eagles. So close with Sleek. So you easy. You said it. You said Sleekle. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> you put, a, you put so an extra easy. L in there, Billy. <laughs> All right. Let's go. I know what Schmidt's doing, so I gotta I gotta beat him to it. Oh, Bill Dwyer and Melissa McQueen came in. That's, Bill Dwyer. Uh, that's fun. You make it sound so fun, too. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun. Correct, sir. Five <laughs> points. Five points. Two, I think two right for Bill. Goose three, egg for McQueen. Three right three for right me. for Bill. Goose egg for McQueen. Had I known she couldn't have read, I would have come up with a different game. And then Mike Schmidt. Excellent. Excellent, yeah. sir. The fastest finger in the room, which mm -hmm. I'm sure you've heard that a thousand times. Here we go. <laughs> let's tally up these. Hey, let's see who won this thing. <laughs> the points are in. The points are in. This is a game for the books. This is a game for the books. First of all, on a personal note, thank you guys for coming on and doing my show and taking time <laughs> out of your day and bringing your funny and brilliance and knowledge <laughs> and whatever Bill brought. Uh, <laughs> a lot of filth, I guess. Uh, yeah, you and me, you and me, we're cussing up a storm. We're cussing up yeah. a storm. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Ladies and gentlemen, her first official game coming in third place. There are no losers in this game. There are no losers in the game. You are <laughs> first loser. I take that back. <laughs> Elizabeth McQueen with 30 points. Not a bad showing. Not a bad showing. Not bad. The bronze. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> awesome and thanks for showing us your childhood better is that carpeting yeah, yeah blue all right blue didn't carpet. all right okay all right excellent thanks for coming on yeah. melissa tell uh tell everybody where we can find you you can find me on melissa mcqueen comedy on instagram excellent follow her she's hilarious and she's a great person and hopefully you come back to town soon uh bill dwyer the silver points sir 50 points could not give you points for sleagal even though i wanted to <laughs> There is a band somewhere called Sleagle. I guarantee it. <laughs> and the Sleagles of Death Metal. There's one for my <laughs> there's one, there's one for my music nerds. There's one for my music nerds. <laughs> then, ladies and gentlemen, not only winner of this game, he is tied for highest score of for what it's worth history. Mike Schmidt, an impressive 65 points, sir. You are this week's king of rock. There is none higher. Congratulations, sir. What do you have to say? Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. A well-fought game from everybody. Uh, Melissa, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled to be introduced to you and your talents. Bill, I, you know, I've always had you in my heart ever since I Shut met up. You. I came to this <laughs> town and I, I mean, I enjoyed trouncing you both. And yet I still have tremendous respect for both of you. Oh, what about the host? Oh. Uh, Murray, again, being asked to come here is always a joy and Walker oh. behind the, the ones and twos always makes me very happy. Carrie, is that a person in Canada who's keeping score? I love everybody. <laughs> I'm thrilled. I'm excited. And I'm happy to finally have one of these that I fucking won hit the airwaves. That's great. Well, congratulations. And all of us, thank you for those kind words, except Carrie, who is now super embarrassed. Great. I have a I podcast going. Up, 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 up. I'm not done. I'm letting you go. Don't step on my plugs. <laughs> uh, what, what, do you have some sort of podcast with some sort of uh, I do you, that you stand a, in front of that we can't? <laughs> I have a podcast called the 40 year old boy podcast available wherever you can find your podcasts. Also every day you'll find me at twitch.tv slash the 40 year old boy streaming games and talking to you usually around four o'clock Pacific time. Also there's a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the 40 year old boy that has all of the archives of the 13 years of the podcast. You should start from the beginning. You'll catch up. And by the time you've caught up, I'll be dead. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Well, something to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, listen, I want to thank you guys for playing really 100% uh, sincere. And thank you guys for playing and spending your time. Uh, I want to thank you guys, the viewers, for watching. Thank you so much. Listen, hit like and subscribe on that YouTube thing. I know it's so lame for me to ask, but it helps a lot. And guess what? There's a Patreon page. If you want to possibly be a contestant or join in on some of the games, hit that Patreon page. There's a couple levels on there. I think you'll find one that fits, your, uh, fits what you need. All right. You're As actually, always, actually, I let me ask you this is the hundred dollar level on your patreon still getting to spend a night in melissa queen's uh melissa mcqueen's <laughs> childhood bedroom is that still on the patreon level that's that's on the patreon level that's on the patreon level <laughs> and for 150 you get both posts 
Oh. <laughs> my lawyer is currently drafting a letter to the game show commissioner right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right hey guys thank you so much for playing i really appreciate it bill melissa mike i super appreciate it and i could not do it without the eye in the sky walker yule thank you so much sir as always don't forget what prince said sha boogie all right for what it's worth i'm marie valeriano good night king's island we love you <laughs>